Hello and welcome to the Managing Uncertainty Podcast. I'm Brian Strauser, Principal and Chief Executive here at BrightPath. In last week's episode, we talked about my agenda. If I were advising the incoming president, President-elect Donald J. Trump, on national preparedness and resilience for the nation. In this episode, I'm gonna do the same, but I'm gonna focus on cybersecurity and resilience. And just as I did last week, I'm gonna talk about what I see as eight areas of focus this time, um, covering proactive measures to protect critical infrastructure, bolster our nation's cybersecurity defenses, and build a more resilient digital landscape. So if I was the head of the Cybersecurity and Infrastructure uh, Security Agency, or CISA, what would I advise President-elect Donald Trump to do? Well, I would start by strengthening the critical infrastructure cyber defenses in our country. I would help the private sector by protecting vital sectors such as energy, finance, healthcare, and transportation from cyber threats, help them implement new rigorous security standards, and require continuous vulnerability assessments for infrastructure problems. Uh, this goes right to the heart of some of the challenges we've seen as a nation around cyber extortion and ransomware, and the challenges that this presents to our nation's critical infrastructure. The second is to continue to invest in cyber threat intelligence and sharing. I think the more that we can establish and encourage platforms for intelligence sharing between government agencies and the private sector, the more resilient we can help our critical infrastructure become. Real-time information sharing can significantly reduce response times and enable coordinated action against cyber threats. Number three is to modernize government's cybersecurity. We have opportunities to increase funding to modernize outdated federal systems that are vulnerable to attack. By updating technology and employing new cybersecurity measures like zero trust architecture, multi-factor authentication, the basics that the private sector is already doing, we can enhance security across government operations. Number four is to develop a cyber resilience framework for companies. We can continue to advocate for resilience-focused cybersecurity frameworks that companies can follow to prepare for, respond to, and recover from cyber incidents. Resilience here is not just about preventing breaches, but when we get left of the boom, when we get past, I'm sorry, to the right of the boom, we get past the incident itself, how can we ensure quick, efficient recovery to reduce disruption? Number five is to promote cybersecurity training and workforce development. This is one of the biggest issues with cybersecurity. It is the need for well-trained, available staff. So increasing investments in cybersecurity education and training can help us grow a more skilled and available workforce that's capable of defending against this sort of sophisticated cyber threats that we see today. A well-trained cybersecurity workforce is essential for national resilience. Number six is to create policies, guidance, and training for robust incident response. We should be mandating comprehensive cyber incident response plans for government and private sector organizations. Effective response plans minimize disruption and prevent loss of critical data and help maintain the public trust. Number seven is to continue to encourage research and development in cybersecurity innovations. Supporting research and development in AI-based threat detection, quantum-resistant encryption, and other cutting-edge technologies can help us stay ahead of emerging cyber threats. Prioritizing innovation will help create long-term resilience. And lastly is fostering public awareness on, on cyber hygiene. We should be finding ways to educate the public to, on cybersecurity best practices to reduce individual and organizational risks. This is even more important today because of the number of remote workers that we have in organizations that are highly dependent on their own personal cybersecurity in their home. Strong cyber hygiene practices can help all of our sectors of the economy, including the public, uh, and can significantly lower the overall cyber threat level faced in our country. By focusing in these areas, I believe that President Trump can build a more resilient cybersecurity framework that not only protects our national security, but ensures the continuity of critical services and public trust in digital systems across the country. And this approach aligns well with the things that you've heard me talk about here on our podcast and, and through the articles on our website about what we think is important to help protect your organization's cybersecurity 
and overall resilience. That's it for this edition of the Managing Uncertainty podcast. I'll be back next week with another new episode. Be well. Thanks for watching our video. To learn more about how to manage uncertainty and disruption in your organization, be sure to like, follow, and subscribe to our video channel. And here are a few more videos that we've selected that will help you learn more about business continuity, crisis management, and crisis communications.